It's a growing crisis here in New Jersey. People using emergency rooms for routine medical care because they have nowhere else to go. But now there's a pilot project underway that aims to redirect patients to health clinics. NJN News health and medical correspondent Sarah Lee Kessler reports. Two St. Barnabas hospitals, Newark Beth Israel Medical Center and Monmouth Medical Center in Long Branch have received federal grants to launch an important pilot project. It's a 21-month study that encourages ER patients who have minor or chronic health issues to visit local health clinics rather than tying up limited resources at the emergency room. We're talking about earaches, sore throats, um, abdominal pain. They may have urinary tract infections. They may have uh, wound checks that they had a, uh, were treated for in the past. They may need simple sutures. Uh, they may be just here for a medication refill. Brace it for you. Put it on your wrist, okay? No matter what the reason for the visit, anyone who shows up at this emergency room will be seen, evaluated, and treated. If he's an appropriate candidate, he'll then be referred to Monmouth County's Federally Qualified Health Center. All also located in Long Branch. With the emergency room, uh, this is the only place that uh, can never turn a patient away. We see all comers to the emergency department, no matter whether you have insurance or, or don't have insurance. It's a critical issue here in New Jersey where 1.4 million people are uninsured, including 288,000 children. All need what's called a medical home. A medical home is basically a place where the patient can come on a regular basis to receive their primary care. Because you have continuity of care, you get to see the same providers who get to know you over time and will provide you with the best care. Sheena Harvey, seen in the background, is about to find that out. After showing up at the ER two days ago with a painful earache, she was given eardrops and referred to this clinic. All right, you still have a little bit of some infection left, a little bit of discharge in the ear still left, okay? They actually made the appointment for me at the emergency room. So that was pretty convenient. Yeah, that was great. Because <laughs> if it would have been like up to me, I probably wouldn't have got seen again. I'd have just left at, at the emergency room. That would not have been the right thing to do because Sheena needed an antibiotic. So this is the prescription. It's one pill, one in the morning, one at night for 10 days. And I'll just make an appointment in 10 days, okay, because okay. I want to see you and see how you're doing. Sheena says this program is a godsend. I waste a lot of time like going to the emergency room. You're sitting there for hours sometime or and then my kids sometimes doesn't want to sit down. They get antsy. The program also saves taxpayer money. A regular visit in the emergency room would be between five and six hundred dollars. Uh, the visit here is a hundred dollars so that you're talking about one-fifth the cost. The goal is to educate patients that a federally qualified health center is the place to go for most of their health care needs. Sarah Lee Kessler, NJN News, Long Branch.